Nico, I'm visiting. What could be known as the underground ocean? You found many nice items. It is the way to. And he made many upgrades, as well as defeating the giant brain and the giant jellyfish. Hey guys, and today is part four of my Terraria, or, or, uh, uh, or of, uh, of my Terraria Thorium Mod Melee Class Playthrough. Now, you may notice some changes. I have made some stuff. I, ha I have made a cyan face blade. As you can see, I mined up like a million meteorite, and I also formed up the um, queen jellyfish. And I wasn't able to get the, the giant glow stick, but I was able to get the queen's glow stick, which is an unlimited glow stick, but it does use mana. Once I got the rain stone and see in this tutorial, this is a bulwark, and the way you upgrade it is by defeating a crown of thorns. Which I have no idea how you're meant to get. I'm gonna I'll look the that up after the video. <laughs> you can actually get a throw weapon from that. Quiet cool, quiet cool, and bio cool. Bio cool, quiet cool, and quiet cool. That's cool. <laughs> lol, 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 lol. Great energy storm. It's coming up. I have, I have an idea. A small, small, very small idea of what I'm actually gonna do for it. It's not gonna work. I'm sorry, I never knew what you you were meant to do with the green dragon scales. But now I know. That you can make wings. It's basically the corrupt variant of an unfathomable flesh. And it's actually really good. But you know, what am I doing? I'm talking about hard mode stuff, dude. I'm talking about hard mode stuff. I'm talking about hard mode stuff. And the main thing I would do is the. Dragon's tail on necklace, and maybe, maybe the dragon's tooth. And yeah, as you guys can probably expect, today we're gonna be doing Queen B, Goblin Army, and hopefully the old one's army. I'm probably not gonna do it, but hopefully I am. The old one's army is difficult. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start off right away by doing Queen B. We're gonna do normal stuff, and if a goblin army invades, then yay. Cause I really want to upgrade my accessories. And stuff. <laughs> like, I want to get, um, lava waddles, or waddles, or whatever you like, you like to call them. And then frostbark boots. Also, as you can see, I actually dyed the, um, Angle's bowl to be solo color and it actually still appears um when it's in your windy it just doesn't give light i'm taking it i'm just checking if like it looks different in the windy or, like, yeah. okay so have i found a beehive yet no but i have found the temple okay good 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 Good, 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 good. Okay. So we're gonna try to beehive. Then we're just gonna fight Queen Bee. 
He's like a normal person would. A no normal person would. Okay. Let me make some wood out of a normal person. That, that, that. Okay. And so once I beat um Skeleton, look, he's coming, which is very close. Why not? Tell me why not discount the Skeleton, which is after Queen B, which we're trying to do right now. So after Skeleton, I want to instantly get the Crimson Knight's Egg. As it comes to into the night's egg from Thorium. I want to instantly get that. This is the exact moment. I beat Skeletor and I just want to... Find the Mole Master! Done! Get the Blade of Glass! Done! Get the Fire Great Sword! Done! And then get the Blood Bolt Wheel! Already done! And get the Face Blade! It doesn't, it doesn't actually say that it's as good. It as the um the bed book to you. It says it does one less damage, you know. I don't really think it's worse. Plus one plus if it is worse then one damage is enough. A boss has one health. Queen B has one health left when I get to it. Imagine. Just imagine. Just imagine. That would be, that would be no, I would literally just, okay, this is behind, I would, but I would literally just not play to whatever the next time, I'm just kidding, by the way, but I would just not make a video for me. I mean, I am not. If that if that did happen, then I would just end the video. Then I would make the next clip in an hour time. <laughs> That's what I would do if that did happen. So that so the topa doesn't happen, and I believe the queen bee summon is under here. And the way else it would be. It doesn't look like it would be anywhere else. So we need to be careful until we do this. This has been done. There we go. Queen Bee has awoken! Let's go! Of course we won't be able to use any of its, any of its OP range weapons, but we will be able to get its sword, which I will not use, no matter how much better it is, because I love phase blades. I've literally never crafted one in in a non going mode place ever in my entire life. It's, yeah, it's very cool to have one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, as you can see, I made a medium hand axe. Also, I found out that this um, sparkling jelly ball is actually really good. Its special effect doesn't um, work on bosses. But it is still really good for doing a lot of damage. I don't think it's as good as the Illustrious, but it is still good. If the Illustrious isn't very good against something, then I'm definitely going to try this walking jelly ball. Getting that glow stick would have been amazing though. Getting, getting that um, giant glow stick blowing. That would have been amazing. I'm gonna... Stop talking and focus on the fight.
No way, I, I would have not. Goodbye, it can be coffee. I wonder if you can guess why. I, I, you, I'm guessing you can't. Wow, that's actually really uh, almost simple and we make a million B nades. And we get that is the same thing. But you just wouldn't need a million more nades. <laughs> yeah. Okay. For mana, for life. We basically don't care about anything that it dropped. You don't care about anything that it dropped. So yeah, all we care about is that we beat it. We beat Queen Bay. Let's go and do the, the easiest boss in the land then. People are gonna get mad for me for me calling Skeleton the easiest boss in the land, but Skeleton's easy. In, in normal mode, you literally just attack the hands takes like two seconds you basic you ba you basically won after that there's literally nothing that can hit you except for the head which just stands still not even trying to attack you and when it does try to attack you it's like the slowest thing in the world you guys get why i think it's like the easiest thing in existence you guys get it you guys get why We are gonna do the Odor Zombie right now. Since it's not night time, so we can't do Skeleton. I'm just making a quick, quick arena, arena for, for the boss. Not the boss, for the event. And I'm just gonna pick up all the wood because it might be useful later. AKA for this count. Because we're gonna need like a million wood just to get like the computer zombie to move in. I don't know why it takes forever. It just does. And I don't like how it does. Okay. So this is gonna be the biggest I will be able to make it. Without it, it the entire thing being flooded. So yeah. We're gonna make the stand. We're just gonna buy the stand. And then we're just gonna buy a couple crystals. Let's see if we can do it. It has to be in a longer area. Cut down all this on these trees. After this event, I will, um, after the fourth try on this event, I will make Nako a base. Uh, like a walk tower type thing. As I said, I would do last episode. But I didn't do it last episode. Because I'm silly. Okay. The guide get outside of here in the warms as well. If only nasty colas existed <laughs> in Thorium, but they don't. It's a calamity thing. Okay, Mr. Guide. I know what to do with you, Mr. Guide. Hiya! What did I think about you, Guide? <laughs> No, I know that. No, no, I don't know that. I kill it, but I don't care about it, so I don't care if I don't know about it or not. Okay. I no, I don't care if I don't know about it or not. If I didn't just like that. Oh, I'm silly. Okay. I'm gonna find the quote-unquote exact middle of this. 
I think that would be here. And I think a couple blocks in the snow duetkin. There. I think a couple more blocks to the white. There. This looks perfect. Okay. <laughs> that one's there. And that one's there. Okay. Let's go. I won't be able to use, um, these one summons. I think I need to extend this, extend it in this direction a little bit more. Have him keep, hopefully we'll be able to protect this. Okay. Probably not though. Okay, you're telling me I'm supposed to take damage now. But it's about to. Yeah! Attack! Attack this side for a little bit longer. I hear the ones on the other side, because these ones are so close. Okay. This way is done. Without the attorney, without the attorney, uh, without the attorney, Aquista taking any damage. The first wave wasn't too difficult, but that's what it normally is. <laughs> normally not too difficult. <laughs> you guys can tell this is the exact middle. This looks like it will be the exact middle, but it's not. This is. And it doesn't really look like it. It kind of does. I guess it kind of does look like it. Are we gonna have, I gotta be careful about my health, surprisingly. I think they're coming out a lot faster now. Sorry guys. We ran out of space as as usual as you would expect. A random cut like that. Okay, it's time for wave three. Let's go. Wave three time. This is gonna be where we get really difficult because Galaxy Flow is actually heavier than like any other one. And they also have health. Like any other one. Get one of the javelin throws, then go to the other side, just attack them. And then go to the other side. The Tower Kid didn't do really well at protecting the Twister, as I can see. Although, the Tower Kid hasn't taken any damage. It hasn't taken any damage. Because Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Dude, be dipping. Okay, the wave already complete. That's really good. I'm like, well, luckily, Gavin Gold didn't really pay very much while I was doing this side. Okay, that was really lucky. Was that really lucky? Okay. Now, we have Fendel Mellows. Which I don't care about. <laughs> See now the Y won't now the Ether and Y won't appear. This is where it really gets difficult. This is where the battle truly begins. The Y one can fly and then just keep dashing. We add the question from the same as the Millennium Swap. Like one from the Montax thing that I'm doing. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You guys see how difficult it was on the end of now. You guys know. Okay, let's just do this. This is a wild attack. Let's do 
Wrecking! This Wrecking! Okay. We're gonna push them so you can show much damage. Okay, this is bad. I'm doing damage to the crystal. Okay, she's this. The, the enemies! And we need to heal. Okay. We need to disable the lane. Floof. Floof, 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 floof. That was tough. Okay. This is the final wave though. He's a bad sign. Because I'm doing so bad. I'm gonna find a way. No! Then it went well until the fourth round. I guess we can't do the other ones on me right now. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys. No. Today. Since last clip, I can say about now. Why did my character feel so slow? What should I definitely need to know? Uh, I'm gonna put on this cloud in the bottom just because I can. <laughs> and I have a free access on the front. Boop, 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 boop. You see the meteor that I just mined? Like a crazy person. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what my final vanity will look like. I think I'll just keep it how it is, but just a different belt and stuff. Why did my belt look that way? Why in the world did my belt look that way? Why in the world does my belt look that way? I have teal dye on my belt. It looks you don't have any dye. Let me just quickly grab a dye. Let me see. Teal dye. Let me grab it. Let me put it in my inventory. Get rid of this teal dye. And equip this teal dye. And it looks like I just have the normal thing on. If I do this. And then do this. And then do this. And then do this. No. What if I just give myself a different accessory to do? It's the time to just change this. I want to panic to make this. How does this look? Yep, Nico is changed his belt. Nico is getting into his belt. Yeah, Skeletron! <laughs> you weren't expecting me to fight Skeletron, were you? <laughs> well, we are fighting Skeletron right now. Remember when 
haven't told you about Skeleton being like the easiest boss in the world. This is how I know that. We can pre boss Leo right now. And before you guys go thinking, dude, your armor isn't. It is. You don't have to beat. I mean, I guess it would be so bad. You could just go mining for Quintain or Demon. I don't know who does that. I did a little bit of damage, but this is how I know that Skeleton is the easiest thing in the world. hit that dude. I could literally just spend an hour and I, and I would be able to know hit that. Well great. Now we have to suffer more from other stuff. From granite and marble biome caves but you're not going to be doing granite energy storm in any way today. That is for the next three episodes, dude. That is for the next three episodes. That is how difficult when I'm going to be. Illusionist? For real? Is it actually time for Illusionist? I don't think we're ready. Let's just go. Let's just go with the Illusionist. Let's just do this. We're going to do this. We're going to beat the Illusionist. That's a fake Illusionist. We need to attack the correct Illusionist. This is the quest one. Let's go. We beat it. Okay. What did we get? Squying glass. The spirit droplets. And then we got a mage hand. Yeah, this is super cool. Do you see what I'm doing right now? I'm just moving the enemy. Like all the way over here. Let's use mana though. So yeah. That is such a cool item now. <laughs> I can just find them out. Cool. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do for every chest I find is I'm just gonna make a little altar. You know. For the mini map. <laughs> <laughs> so when I see this, this basically means a chest. Nako, yes. That ch the chest is named Nako. <laughs> the character is named Nako, not the chest. <laughs> so the multiplayer Wendell playthrough, and after this one, will not be posted as frequently, just because... Like, my friend isn't always on. So, yeah. We're going to be using something, so I don't need that cable. Uh, okay. <laughs> of course, I do need this table, though. Or chemi table. Oh! Just use the mage hand. Use the make hand. Use the make hand. Ah! I can't to use the make hand. The make hand is cool, is difficult to get used to. But once you do get used to it, it's not too bad. You can also pick up talent NPCs, which is like the best thing in the world. Like it is kind of buggy, but if you do this good enough, then you can actually pick up talent NPCs. See? You need to get it kind of on here. This is very complicated to use. Oh, it's because I'm out of mana. <laughs> okay. So we need to actually have mana and then 
You can move town NPCs. You, you can even move them to a single block. If you're good enough, if you're fast and good enough, then you can. Pow! Pow! If I just do this, then I can just pow! Do that. I found an infinite acorn glitch. I think. I found an infinite acorn glitch. The main camp. See, I just bought him. I just bought you up, guide. I just bought you up here. Now, guide. You go down. I oh, know. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, the make hand is very difficult to use. Once you get used to it, used to it, then it's really good. Nico decided to do his time to make a little bit of a base. So here what it is. This is what he will do for everything. He would live here. He would do anything he wanted here. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure this was unexpected to all of you. I just built a little base for Nico. And, and as you can see, it is made out of spooky wood painted white. It, and a Valadium and the doors are Valadium doors painted white. So, yeah. And as you can see, I have magic doors in here. Nobody cares about getting magic swords with it. Okay, boop. We're just gonna boop. We're just gonna boop. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. I have to keep the call button on me though. <laughs> I'm also gonna store my money in the flying piggy bank. As you can see, I actually put my potions in here. Yeah, it's time to take them out. Put them in here, put this in here, put this in here, put this in here. Put this in here, put this in here. Uh, put this in here, put this in here. Uh, okay, keep the magic hand. Make hand. Keep the queen's glow stick. Probably gonna, gonna use that inside of torches. We're gonna put an alchem table later. Uh, alchem storm. We're gonna, we're gonna keep and twenty crystals. We're gonna keep until we do Odo Zombie, and then we're gonna we're gonna put this in here. We're gonna put we're gonna keep these. We're gonna need these, and then and we're good. So yeah, we're just gonna put this in here. And I'm just gonna grab some crafting stations. Glitch, glitchy doos, glitchy poos. <laughs> I don't know what you would call it. Uh, boop, boop. We don't need these bottles, we've already been skeleton, it doesn't matter. And of course, I want to like mine up the spooky wood and use it to make, make anything else. Of course, I wouldn't do that. Why would you think I would? Okay. So we're just gonna put this in here. So we're just gonna put them in the white order. There is an order to these. There we go. Let's do this. You now have full on magic storage. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> I like to look at magic store for a second after I get it. <laughs> okay. Now my inventory is basically empty. I have the favorite stuff. Of course. 
We're also gonna favorite stuff. Because favoriting stuff is everything. Basically, so. Yeah. Why do I still have my cold front on me? It's time for me to suffer. No, I'm kidding, no. It's time for me to suffer. <clears throat> I want to do win energy storm. But that means it's time for me to shuffle. <laughs> that that's actually what what it means though. When the end of the storm basically is the meaning of shuffling. <laughs> it's that difficult. Yeah, and this is gonna be bad. Oh yeah, I don't I don't want these, do I? I do not want these. This is key defense. Do I want them or not? Do I want them or not? <laughs> No, I basically have nothing in my inventory. <laughs> um, because this will not be my inventory anymore. So basically, she's gonna have nothing in my inventory. Double these couple items. <laughs> I think there's a granite cave over there on the map. And that's where you fight the granite energy storm. So not only is it super difficult by itself, you also have to fight it in an enclosed space. How perfect! And of course I have to fight another boss in a marble biome. Like, why did the game do that to me? Hello, surface. What am I doing? I think, I don't know. That's the summon right there, that little enemy. That's, if you defeat that, then the boss appears. But I think maybe, just maybe, just maybe, just maybe, that I might be able to, um, I gotta show you this boss, let alone beat it. I'm probably gonna show you this boss and when I get into hard mode, I'm just gonna cry and beat it. And I did just say, when I get into hard mode, I'm just gonna cry and beat it. <laughs> I did just say that. Meaning that this is actually extremely difficult. So if you've never seen this boss before, get ready to see the craziness. I'm not a bullet hell. It's to pale fire. It's not a bullet hell. The mounts are really good. But I need to just go. There can only be five of them. So, just like, 
like with the, with the um the queen jellyfish. Yeah. Uh, huh. <gasps> Now that you guys have seen a little bit of what that boss is like, yeah. now we're gonna actually battle it. Just using the weapon torches. Do this. <clears throat> Yeah, the boss summon is actually crafted in anvil, but it kind of makes sense since it's basically just putting some granite energy cores, granite, like, whatever you, whatever those items are, the post code for an item that is dropped by granite enemies, whatever that item is, basically combine that, put that in the middle of a little bit of granite, then you make the summoning item. Does that sound like you have to do that a crazy evil altar? No. I mean, <laughs> making an eye out of lenses, though. Is, or you, you do that or transmute or something. I don't, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna actually fight this boss now. <laughs> so, yeah. Wish me luck. <laughs> this is gonna be bad. This is actually gonna be bad. And it doesn't even drop a very good melee weapon. It just drops a steel that, ha that doesn't even have like, any projectiles. Literally all, that's literally all the melee stuff that it can drop. <laughs> I don't even know what the actual word exactly does. <laughs> Everything. This really requires like everything being very large. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm always just fine with that. <laughs> Most people aren't, but I am. I'm just fine with it. Mm -hmm. Except for when it does this, where it like, looks like it's going more down, like it's breaking the blunt, and then replace it.
Ooh, just as big as a plant uh, as a small plant here while And it gets full point on my boss. I mean look at this. Do you guys see how big of an arena? There it is. It's just a, it's a boss that nobody even cares about. <laughs> Everybody thinks it's not it's not difficult at all. But they're wrong. <laughs> They're very long. They're way too long. They're so long that it hurts. That's how long it is. It is. It, people know. They think that this boss is easy. But no. They make sure I was for it, but I'm not getting any posters on here for it. <laughs> Maybe that's just a funny thing, is it? But yeah. Best open, best open play hard mode. Plus, being on a slime mount cannot beat this boss. Literally, win it almost. The best open play hard mode. It really slows you down, so that's why I'm on mount. I'm on a crab mount. I think the slime mount would have been way better though. So this is gonna be the arena for this boss. Yeah, good job, good job of me. Good job for making this amazing arena. This is actually really good, at least for me, this is really good. It makes me look bad. But I don't care. Okay. Now we're just gonna deposit it all. And then we're just gonna make the summon. Summon is of course consumable, so we're gonna have to make multiple, but it's pretty easy to make. All you need is just four green energy cores and 25 green blocks. And then boom. You've made it. Why can I not deposit this? Deposit it, there. I need to deposit. Why does it not let me deposit all? I don't know. And now I have the unstable coal in my inventory. This is probably gonna be bad. <laughs> See, I'm just gonna keep going until I beat it. No upgrades, no nothing. I'm just gonna keep going until I beat it. Just like with like Providence and Dog and even Escal. Also, I don't know if I'm the first person to do this. It would be a miracle if I, if I was. But I beat Escal with God Slayer. Yes, I beat Escal with God Slayer. That was enough. I beat it like four times. Of course, the three other times I was using post Escal weapons, but no post Escal Leo. Like almost. I mean, <laughs> is that something crazy for you to hear or what? What? Let's just go. Let's just go. Storm. Let's just go. This is definitely going to be an extremely difficult fight. You probably already guessed that. But let's just go.
Ja. Da ist die grüne Energy Storm vorher. I'm gonna grab one of the green blocks, expand the arena, and then we're gonna do it. This is the final attempt. And as you can see, I expanded the arena. Won't let me summon the boss. Let me summon the boss. Can I use it in my hot bell? Nope. <laughs> no, gonna walk. Oh, this is gonna be good. Okay, let's try doing this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank <laughs> you. 
my goodness. of my health. That was insane. <laughs> and I had the video on me the entire time and I wasn't talking that entire fight. What is that? <laughs> it was a trash to loot because all of its loot was just stuff I didn't need. And there's a goblin on me. But this video has been going on for an actual too long. See, that's, that's the same video. Blah, blah, blah. 